Well, after more than a decade of competitive figure skating, Burnaby's Emily Bossback has called it a career. The 2020 Canadian Senior Women's Champion officially hanging up her skates. Emily is joining us this morning. Emily, good morning. You shocked the skating world by retiring at the age of 19. Tell us why this is the right decision for you right now. Good morning, Jay. Thank you for having me on. Um, so I decided to retire at the age of 19 for my competitive career just because I felt that this is the right time and I'm at the right place in my life to sort of hang up my skates and transition into being a full-time student. I feel that I've reached my potential um, in my competitive career. So I'm very happy with everything I've done in the sport and I'm ready to move on. Yeah, we see all the medals on your wall behind you there. Skating's taking you all over the world, <laughs> Emily. Ten countries, a two-time junior silver medal winner. Of course, you won the Senior Women's Championship not that long ago at the age of 17, but you also broke your foot twice. It's been a remarkable run that you've managed to achieve. Emily, tell me what stands out in your journey and also maybe some of the things that us skating fans didn't get to see during your journey. Yeah, so sort of the one thing that really stood out is that I was always the underdog. I wasn't necessarily the predicted winner for all these competitions, so I always had to work really hard to prove myself. And I've spent most of my career um, proving myself in all my competitions. And like you said, I've had uh, two broken foot injuries. I also broke my ankle uh, back in 2017, so I've been having to make comeback after comeback. Um, so that's really taught me a lot about myself and sort of how to bounce back from setbacks in life. Hey, you started figure skating at the age of five. We're showing a lot of footage that we've done from the stories on you over the years. Anyone who's been involved in the sport, Emily, knows how expensive it can be. You know, our parents are always our biggest supporters. They're always the ones making the greatest sacrifices to help us achieve our dreams. I'm thinking without your mom and dad, you don't achieve those lofty heights that you skated to. Am I correct in that assumption? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. My parents are my number one supporters. They're always in my corner and they have been there for me from day one. They've never stopped believing in me and without them, I wouldn't be able to make my dreams come true. Hey, the last couple of years that you've been skating, you've also been going to university. You've been working part time. I still don't know how you managed to find the time to do all of this, Emily. Uh, you turned 20 this year, so the future truly is yours. Tell me what, the, uh, what the future looks like. What are you most excited about in the years ahead? So I'm most excited about going back to school. I switched majors, so I was in kinesiology. Now I'm in a, and I'm in a business program, so I'm really looking forward to going into the field of business management and event planning. So that's going to be my new obsession. Now that my figure skating career has ended, I can really completely dive into um, this next chapter in my life. There's a lot of little girls out there right now, a lot of little boys who, you know, are dreaming big. You know, they're lacing up skates like you did at the age of five. Some advice for, for the youngsters out there and maybe even for the parents as well who, who support, who do their best and, and push their children forward. But maybe just some words of advice, Emily, somebody who's been there, done that to the youngsters out there who are watching you right now. Yeah, so my best advice is it's easier said than done, but honestly, just stay in your own lane. And the only thing you can control is yourself. So kind of just blocking out all negativity. And if you really believe in yourself and you believe that you can you can achieve your goals, then, you know, it's worth it to like devote your time and your energy and, and having your parents there to support you is a huge part of the journey. Hey, you know, it's funny, Emily, I don't get to interview too many people who are retiring, who have announced their retirement at the age of 19. Do you feel like a retiree? <laughs> Hasn't really sunk in yet, to be honest. <laughs> I'm still kind of like, oh, I took a week off of skating, you know, back to skating this week. So I'm sure the retirement's gonna be hitting uh, in this week or the next week. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever get back into the world of it uh, coaching wise or is it going to be business forward and, and, and the new career? I'm looking forward to maybe doing um, sort of like the business aspect in figure skating, maybe helping out with um, competition planning or sort of like that uh, aspect of the figure skating world. I don't necessarily see myself coaching. I think um, I'd be better suited sort of more like behind the scenes. Well, you've had a uh, tremendous career. We've enjoyed covering you the last few years. Congratulations on a very successful one. And the future is yours. Make the best of it. Thanks for joining us, Emily. Thank you, Jay. Emily Bossback, our 2020 Women's Senior National Champion. And now she's moving on to a bigger things ahead of her. And you know she'll be successful in her business adventures as well. Oh, absolutely.
absolutely. Did you see all the medals she had hanging yeah. behind her? Yeah. Amazing. We've, we've, uh, we've documented her career for a fair bit over the last few years, and we wish her all the best in the future. A wonderful, wonderful young lady. Yeah, she's a star for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jay. Stay with us. Still to come.